some of the strongest people I know have the resilience to be able to get through that and to label everybody who has an addiction as weak or weakened um, is just unfair bullshit, really. G'day there, Nick Bowdish here. Today I would like to talk about addiction. As many of you know, uh, addiction is something that I have lived with in the past. It's something that I talk to a lot of my clients in a one-on-one -on -one kind of therapeutic setting about their addiction and, and also mine. Um, and something that I think can be lived with, can be overcome. Um, and for a lot of people, sometimes that isn't the narrative, that isn't the story that they tell themselves. Today I'd like to talk about one very big myth about addiction, but there's kind of two. There's there's another one too. The, the, the other little one that I won't talk about today too much, but it comes from the fact that people think that people who are addicts, people who, who have an addiction, are some in some way weak or weaker than those people who don't. And um, that annoys me greatly because I know a lot of people who live with addictions. I know a lot of people who have overcome them. And unfortunately, I know a lot of people who have succumbed to their addiction and weak is not a word I would use to describe them. Some of the strongest people I know, you know, live along that so alongside that stuff or have overcome that stuff. Some of the strongest people I know have the resilience to be able to get through that and to label everybody who has an addiction as weak or weakened um, is just unfair bullshit, really. But there's another bullshit thing about addiction and that's something that you hear even more often and that is the notion that there, that there is such a thing as an addictive personality, that I have an addictive personality, so I'm, I'm going to eat those jelly beans, or I, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it's been proven, <laughs> scientifically proven over and over and over, and there's documentation and loads and loads and loads of journal articles about this, that there is, it's not a link, you know, addiction isn't a personality disorder, it's a brain disorder, it's a complex mental health issue regardless of the person's personality. It has nothing to do with personality types, you know. The, the, and there's reasons why that is kind of harmful to, to have in our vernacular, to have in our, in our world, in our world view, the world narrative that, you know, if you have this addictive personality, you are more likely to be addicted if you have this particular personality. And, you know, there's, there's traits that sort of go with this addictive personality, somebody says, you know, well, tell me more about that. Like, what does that look like in your life? And they'd be like, oh, you know, I'm impulsive and I, uh, I take risk, I risk behavior, I lack impulse control, I am socially isolated, I have big mood swings, you know, wh whatever. But there's really no evidence, there's no evidence that links those, treat, those traits to addiction. Okay, those traits might make up your personality and some of that might not be you might not think is great about you or whatever, but that doesn't mean you are any more or less likely to become addicted. That's it's just not how it works. It's way more complex than that, you know? So the reason this myth about the personality trait, this addictive personality thing even existing, why, why it's harmful, why I think it's harmful, is because people can believe they're not at risk of addiction if they don't have the right personality type for it. You know, if I don't um, consistently show risky behavior or lack of impulse control or uh, whatever it might be of those list things that I listed before, if I'm not showing any of those things, then I'm not gonna become addicted. I don't have to worry about it, I'm safe. You know, that's, that's not true and it's extremely harmful and, and potentially really dangerous for someone to think that they have this, you know, get out of jail free card because they don't take risks and because they don't look like an addict or act like an addict. That's the majority of people I know who live with their addiction, and who, especially who functionally, functionally live with their addiction, they didn't show any of those things. It's just, you know, one day they develop this addiction to whatever they have an addiction to. And those things can vary just as, just as widely. You know, I, I work with people who have addictions to food and a healthy relationship with food. Certainly I have clients who have addictions to drugs and alcohol. But I have just as many people who have an addiction to impulsive thought or obsessive thinking or porn or sex or jelly beans or work or exercise or Netflix 
like all of these things are the same, doesn't mean they have the personality for it. So the first reason it's harmful is because people think, well, I don't have any of those traits, so I'm not gonna become addicted. But the second and, and slightly more important, I think, reason it's harmful is, it, is that people who have an addiction can think they'll never recover from it. They'll never get past it. They'll never learn to change their life and change their thinking in a way that they can live with an addiction or at least, or, or at the most, you know, overcome it and, and get rid of that addiction. Because they think, well, I've got the personality. I've used, I have this addictive personality. There's no hope for me. Even if I get over this addiction, I'll pick up in another addiction. And I used to think that myself. You know, I used to think, well, if I could just, if I could just get a handle on this addiction, I know that I'll, I'll get all right with that. But then I also know that, I'm, that I'll be addicted to something else. It's not true. It was never true. You know, so, so some people can think they can't be addicted because they don't have the personality. Some people can think they can't get well because they do have this personality. And that personality, that, this addictive personality thing, it's just bullshit, it's not real. So, you know, trauma, uh, addiction is caused by many, many things. You know, childhood trauma, biological factors, environmental factors, disconnection, mental illness. You know, a lot of things can actually cause it and can actually lead to it and exacerbate it and make it last longer in someone's life. But it's not your personality. So I'd really support you to hear this. If, if you're in, the, in that space where you think you do have an addictive personality or you're worried that, that that might be the case or that somebody in your family does, so you will, you know, I'd be very, very careful who you listen to, who you allow to steer your narrative, who you allow to tell your story, whose story you pick up and tell as your own. Because it's too easy to be kind of infected by the negative influence of, of media, the negative influence of our community voice sometimes that says, you know, all addicts are weak, all addicts have this addictive personality. If you have an addictive personality, you'll absolutely be addicted to something and, and it'll be the next thing if you get better. You're never gonna get better. You're never gonna get past an addiction because it's just not true. It's just not true. Be really careful whose story you're living, who's telling your story and get out there and, and, and be strong enough and be resi resilient enough to tell your own story. That's what the world needs. Let's carve out our own space. Let's carve out our own story, our own narrative. And don't get sucked into what some people and some media outlets will say about you or about somebody who thinks like you. There is no such thing as the addictive personality. There's, it's way, way more complex than that. And there's a lot of factors that go into it, but your personality isn't one of them. I hope that helps hearing that for somebody who might hear it today. Um, certainly helped me in my own life and my own addic addiction journey when I, when I realised that. And uh, yeah, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Thanks for watching. See ya.